The Madden series really needs no introduction by now. Love it or hate it, Madden is one of the biggest franchises in gaming. Some might say that the series plateaued years ago, and Electronic Arts is just repackaging the same game over and over again. Others claim that this year's Madden NFL 10 is the biggest and most realistic football game to date. So which one is it? Well, get comfortable, it's time to talk Madden. One of the biggest changes in Madden 10 is the presentation. EA's big tagline for the game is that if you see it on Sunday, you'll see it in Madden 10. Thankfully, EA isn't talking about horrible commercials. They've chosen to make the presentation look like a cross between the NFL Network and NBC. Franchise mode even has something called the Extra Point Show, which is basically a weekly recap of what went on in your franchise. The voiceover work of this is pretty terrible, but at least it's a good idea and it's presented well. Denver didn't do so hot on their third down plays. Denver earned a six-point win. There are also a lot of other little touches in the game. There are more scripted scenes like coaches yelling at their players, fans buying overpriced stuff in the stadium, and referees debating with each other. All of this makes everything feel much more realistic. However, because of all this new stuff, a certain amount of glitches have been introduced, mainly in the way of wonky texture behavior. EA needs to work out these kinks, but overall the new features make a notable difference. One thing I did not care for was the commentary. It's very fragmented and is an absolute pain to listen to. The halfback with the carry. Again, they go with the run. In terms of graphics, this is the best looking Madden yet. A lot of detail went into having unique quarterback styles, and overall the animations look awesome. Jukes, throws, and tackles are especially good. You can finally have a nine-man gang tackle. I did see some clipping and a few frame rate hitches, but that's nitpicking an otherwise great looking game. There are two major gameplay additions in Madden 10, Online Franchise Mode and Online Co-op Mode. Online Franchise is the better of the two, and I'm really glad they put it in. All scheduling, live drafts, and player transactions can be done on your console, on your computer, or even an iPhone app that will be available soon after the game's release. I really hope that the community picks this up. If you can get a bunch of friends to participate, it'll be a great time. Unfortunately, the two-player co-op is not as good. The problem is that the camera is different than the normal game. It's closer to your player and limits your view of the field. Defensively, if you need to switch players, the camera will slowly pan over and it's very disoriented. Offensively, it's much better. A quarterback can coordinate very well with his friend playing running back or wide receiver. For example, it's much easier for a wide receiver to carve his own path and go for an easy catch. Co-op is an interesting idea, but EA is going to have to fix the camera angle on defense. In addition to those two modes, there are a lot of little tweaks to the gameplay that make for a better match. The gameplay has been slowed down, so you have more time to make decisions and pull off moves. I actually like this. It makes it less like a video game and more like the real thing. The blocking system is also much better. The quarterback can actually step into the pocket now, and controlling defensive moves with the right stick feels awesome. There are still some AI issues. Guys still run out of bounds for no reason at all, but overall, people will be happy with the changes. Madden 10 is the best looking and most realistic Madden yet. Don't be fooled though, this is still Madden. You're not going to get a radically new type of game. Also, some of the new features like online co-op need more work, but they're still good ideas. This may not be the definitive Madden experience quite yet, but EA is definitely headed in the right direction. For the full written review, log on to IGN.com.